para fazer a defesa, levanta Casillas, tentar agora para Fábrica, as Fábricas dominando pelo time da Espanha, faz o passe a Davi Vídia, Vídia primeiro agora para Navas, olha a chance da Espanha, Navas dominou, invadiu a grande, ela bateu para o gol! Bate a bola no zagueiro, toca gol! They're circling it, dude. They're literally circling. Alright, so we bought a soccer ball like two days ago. First kick around, I, I hit over the fence. Pack of wild dogs. We got a lot of dog poop on the ground, it's kind of disgusting. We got neighbors with potentially guns. Nick had to retrieve a beam from there one time. <laughs> I can't believe that you survived that. I think our plan is you distract here and I'm gonna go there. I distract? I we all need to distract. <laughs> Coffee. Mac and cheese burger. Mm. And what about your race? Race? Mm. It's pretty good. Good, in the zone, Morgan, in the zone. Perfect, Morgan, here we go. Come on, buddy, your race. about 450 to go I think to the lead I upped the pace a little bit and then on the last 200 I got beaten by Justin Knight and Joe Clucker they kind of whooped me a little bit on that last 200 but honestly I was so happy with how I raced it because the lessons that I learned from my disappointment from last week I think I did a really good job at uh, making up for and putting into this race I felt pretty relaxed and composed throughout it and yeah I made a move to win it and I think I put myself in the best place to win it as well but I just didn't quite have it over the last 200 but that's okay let me tell you what I think was the craziest run of the night my roommate Ollie Hall ran 332 for the 1500 indoors which is just absolutely bonkers that was uh Olympic qualify obviously and an Australian national record and he won and it's you know, that was a big, that was legit made, a really good field, and he won it. And just the way he ran it just was so impressive. Ollie and I, you know, we go way back. We uh, we actually were both from Sydney, Australia. We were on some teams together growing up, like state teams, and then we both went over to Wisconsin, and now we live together in Boulder. So it's just so cool to have that journey with someone and then see them, like, doing so well. It's, it's really cool, and it's really inspiring. He's a great guy, and he's been working so hard for so long. So to see him have that success is awesome. I think he goes a bit under the radar, to be honest, but... Literally, I think he's one of the best 1500 meter runners in the world right now. I did manage to record this race. I think this guy deserves more hype, so <laughs> go follow him on Instagram, whatever. He's super funny, but uh, man, it, it was amazing to watch. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Yeah, show us the beauty. Okay, there's no off. <laughs> yeah, good luck, bro.
in the speed suit. I was a bit nervous beforehand because I thought, you know what, like, do I, should I put a sock down there? Because if you think about it, when you're wearing something that tight and you're on national TV, you kind of want to look like you're, you know. It's all about the package. It's all about the package, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was cool, man. It's good to be back racing. Did your diet improve at all? Or no, it's same? gotten worse, actually. What are you going to do to celebrate this record? Are you going to do anything crazy? Are you going to buy a Tesla? I think I'm going to buy a Tesla, yeah. I think I'm going to buy the Model Y Tesla and maybe get a dog. Yeah. No. Thank you, Morgan. <laughs> like you were like literally this little boy with with little uh, you know frosty tips and nice streaks. I was a skinny shy boy with crooked teeth and we you know we never knew we'd and come. Look at, us now. look at us now. <laughs> look at us now. Look in at a, us now. Look at us now. In a hotel at an airport. Just it's fucking running. So sick.